uh, we, we, we use the song and prayer and also uh, read the Bible to the Lord God to communicate with our Father God. So we have many ways to, to uh, communicate with, with Him. Okay, so uh, yeah, I need I need uh, this. Uh, can I have this one? Uh, project, uh, brother uh, Joey. Joey, can you pass this cable? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Before we go to the session. I would like to ask you, I would like to... Uh, you finish your uh, uh, testimony? Yeah. Finish? Uh -huh. Okay, maybe I just take the picture. And Can you write your name here? Oh, you're in here, okay. Yeah, here, let me just... To separate that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, praise God for uh, a new day. So uh, thank God for still give us still uh, still life <laughs> to serve Him, pray, uh, to praise Him, and also uh, to learn more about Him together. Uh, how to share the gospel. So uh, today I would like to uh, continue our, our session about uh, EE. Uh, even Jerry's an explosion. So, okay, yes, we go. As I uh, mentioned uh, yesterday, uh, this uh, 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 EE, uh, even Jerry's an explosion, uh, visual or uh, presentation. So, uh, you have this logo, and you, I hope that you understand. So, uh, I would like to talk about today is uh, uh, equipping lay people. The EE ministry or uh, even during an explosion, uh, we focus for uh, equipping the lay people. So the lay people is uh, 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 the church member. So you, you understand that? Lay people. So we become the, the church member, even the man group, woman group, or the pastor, church elder, uh, the, uh, uh, the children. So we also call the lay people. Okay. So it, it is a primary focus for uh, equipping. E equip, equipping people to be witness, to be witness for Christ. To share a testimony. Like uh, I mentioned before uh, yesterday, so we, sh we should have our, our testimony, short testimony before we share the gospel, right? 
So in e e ministry, uh, 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 evangelism, e evangelism explosions, we focus for uh, uh, equipping people. That's the, the strategy, the key, the key in this ministry. So we focus for the uh, equipping, make disciple, right? Equip people. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, uh, every Christian is to be a uh, Venus. If you are confess that you are Christian, but you not be Venus, you change your name. <laughs> change your name, right? <laughs> but if you say that you are Christian, you should be what? Venus of Christ. Be Venus of Christ. Share your testimony that Christ saved you, that God helped you in your life, daily life. Share to others. So every Christian uh, should be Venus for Christ. That's the Bible, uh, the uh, 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 biblical principles. The lay people are the most strategy and unused key to the world in Jerusalem. Many people, many church members, they are good strategy for us to train them, to build them. Be strong. In, let them know they are witness of Christ. So they will understand how to share the gospel. Because they are the good strategy for evangelism. Many people already say that the word uh, 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 evangelism is not my gift, it's not my job. There is pastor, there is church leader. It's not mine. But even Jerusalem explosion is not like that. We equip, we train the lay people, the church member. The non, uh, even there are no education, they still have opportunity to be witness to God. Jesus said, Come. We read together. Mark 1 70. Jesus said, Come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Again? Jesus said, Come, follow me. Amen. Amen. It means we should follow Jesus, right? Yes. Even you study, sometimes Jesus call you, come. I will meet you to share the gospel to your student, right? <laughs> you farmer, Jesus call you to share the gospel to your neighbor. Or do the farm together. If you businessman, Jesus call you to be witness to your partner business. You work in a company, Jesus call you to share your face in your star or your uh, partner in company. Your friends, that's Jesus call you to be witness for him. Okay, and you will be my. Venus, Act 1, 8, I saw your, uh, over there, <laughs> I, 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 I strongly believe that you understand this, right? So, personally, you will be my, what? Venus. Venus. And locally, you will be my Venus in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And globally, you will be my witness 
in Judea, Samaria, and to the end of the earth. That's Jesus coming. Jesus' first comment must be our Jesus last comment must be our first concern, right? You understand that? What is in Jesus' first comment? You see here? Jesus' first comment. What's that? Come follow me. Mark 1 17. That is Jesus' first comment. What is Jesus' last comment? Act 1 8. That the last. So, Jesus' first comment must be our. Jesus' last comment must be our first concern. You will see here, personally, we will be witness for Christ. Locally, we will be uh, a witness in Jerusalem. It means in local church, local place, local village, your village, your, your town, your, your, your uh, district also. And also global, Judea, Samaria, to other province, to the end of the earth, of the tribes, of the nation. There's a, there's a, uh, the comment, the last comment Jesus gives to you in life. To be fulfilled this year. So, EE principle, uh, EE uh, biblical principle, is the uh, responsibility of the pastor to equip the saint. Pastor's job, uh, Sister Elizabeth uh, told that she don't want to be pastor. <laughs> <laughs> But if God chose you, no way you, you can be. <laughs> you cannot deny. <laughs> but if God chosen you to be a pastor, your job is to equip people to be Venus. Maybe you, you, you have no, no time to go out to be Venus, but your job is to train them, equip them. Teach them how to share the gospel to others. Okay. It's verse he who gave some to be pastor and teachers to prepare God to uh, prepare God's people for words to serve, so that the body of Christ may be fruit up until we are rich unity in the faith Ephesians 4 11 12 so uh, but biblical principle is like a uh, evangelism explosion like a this uh, this uh, uh, strategy we use like a when we go for uh, evangelism like this so, like uh, 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 the person learn training about how to how to take off at a plane. Mm -hmm. So, when we learn about how to take off at a plane, very difficult. Pilot will be careful. So, if you not be careful. Uh, maybe you will have problem. Cannot take off. And the plane cannot take off. Okay, right? The difficult thing is uh, take off and landing. Landing and take off. Very difficult. So, even during an explosion, the same thing. Even during an when we go out to share the gospel, the same. The difficult thing is uh, like an inter introduction. Make friends, make friends. Very difficult. 
make friends. And also, when you landing, uh, landing like a uh, conclusion, when you share the gospel conclusion, very difficult too, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to how to end your your presentation, mm -hmm. you just uh, uh, talk general. Mm -hmm. After that, your prospect, wow. your prospect, uh, the person you talk to, you share to them. They say, ah. Uh, I have no time <laughs> because long you you your conversation very long. You don't know how to control your your conversation. So you talk general. After that, very long your conversation very long. So your prospect say, "I have no time." So maybe next time. <laughs> so that you will lose. So you uh you in the night we we will be smart, wise wisely. So, we understand the people situation. If we, we feel like they they had no no uh, uh not much uh, enough time to to stay with us to share the gospel, we should cut our uh, our uh, conversation, and you just taught the the uh, main point, the important thing, and then you link to the gospel. After you link to the gospel. And then, and the gospel. When we take off, very difficult and landing, difficult too. Even there is evangelism on the job training, the same. So we learn about evangelism. We should do OJT, OJT on the job training. On the job training, it means we we should go go out. Go out to share the gospel. Okay, for tonight, tonight at uh, this day uh, after lunch, uh, I will teach uh, uh, a uh, uh, a little bit, and then until three, and then three to four, we we go out walking on the street or on the market, or we just walk in, in this village to pray for the uh, neighbor and also if we, we, we find some people we share the gospel okay are you ready <laughs> afternoon afternoon session go out on the job training we should have on the job training okay right okay so uh, training so winner is spiritual multiplication multiply spiritual is nobody is nobody is not a uh, uh, multi, uh, body multiplication multiplication so even Judaism when we go and share the gospel it means we training about the soul winner soul winner we go and find people we go and share the gospel and when you win the soul like a uh, many many spirits lost their way many people they lost their way so we we should go and fight it call them back to to God call them back to God right so trading so winner is spiritual multiplication and the, the thing you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses in trust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others to Timothy 2 2 when you have learned something good teach others to do the same right you will be able to teach others to do the same. You willing to do that? Are you willing to do that? When you got to learn, when you learn something new about God, about the, the love of God, or how to share the gospel, anything you learn, you know that that is a very important. So you have to do, to do and to teach all other to do the same. Okay. 
EE Vision. Do you know EE Vision? We we read together. One, two, three. Matthew twenty four fourteen. Matthew twenty four fourteen, right? There is a vision, a vision. Matthew twenty four fourteen. That's in Jesus' vision. <laughs> because our heavenly Father, His heart, His willingness, Father God need every people on earth. That his grace on earth go back to stay with him in the paradise heaven yeah. to worship him forever. So e, e vision that is a every nation equipping every people group and every age group to be witness to every person around the world that's you and i your job my job you should do right we should be witness to 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 people the people close to us close. okay i will write somebody to volunteer to read matthew 24 14 for us okay Elizabeth, you can you read? Matthew 24, or 14. What am I saying? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? That's it. Uh, we will be witness to our to our nation. That's uh, the end will come. Jesus will the second coming on Jesus Christ. Okay, so it means you and I we should be witness to the person close to us. Okay, to stay with us. E E mission statement. Can we read together? One, two, three, go. To glorify God by equipping local churches worldwide to multiply through the passive evangelism, discipleship, and help to grow. Amen. Praise God. Everything we do, everything we be witness, everything in our life, as we confess that we are Christian, we should be. We should do to everything to glorify God by equipping people equipping local church we have the church member to know how to teach other to do the same how to teach other to share the gospel to other people around the world to multiply through friendship it means before you share the gospel you sh you should make friends first if no friend, no gospel. <laughs> you can share with that friend, but if they don't know you, you might have a problem. Okay, so the best, the best strategy for evangelism, you should make friends first. Friendship. Okay. And evangelism for them, evangelize for them. After they receive Jesus Christ, you discipline them. This make them to be a disciple of Christ, to be witness of Christ, and help them to be growth in Christ, the body of Christ. Okay. That's the mission, our mission statement: training the evangelize. Like a basic for effective local church evangelism. 
the local church is a good strategy for uh, for training evangelism because they know the people well they know the local culture they know their language so it's good for the local church to train the people to be witness for them people Okay, so the role of the church, the church need to be a healthy body, like uh, the body of Christ. The church, a church need to be a healthy body. What does it mean, church? You know, church? A church is not building, right? You understand that? <laughs> a church is not a building. Just Church is the people, the, the people of God gathering together and we call church. Worship place, right? The building we just call the worship place. <laughs> the people group we call, people gathering together, worship God, we call church of God. Amen? You understand that? So a church needs to be healthy, healthy body. You and I, we are the body of God, the church of God, right? <laughs> okay. And also, a church need to be unique. Family. We are family. When we believe Jesus Christ, you confess that Jesus is your Lord, your Savior, that we are one family, united. Okay. So I feel like a even we are uh, from different nation, different uh, 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 tribes, different group, but I feel that we are brother and sister in Christ, right? From Vietnam, from Indonesia, from Laos, from America, yeah, from other countries, but we are, especially our brother and sister from Amer uh, African or uh, uh, some, some participant from different country, yeah study online but we are uh, one body in Christ one family in God so praise God for uh, give us opportunity to gather for sharing his love okay so unite united uh, around the Great Commission a church when we gather together, we should know what the right thing we go and we do. That is the great commission that Jesus commit for us to get for you. When you receive Jesus, when you believe in Jesus Christ, that the great commission that is your vision, is your purpose. The first priority in your life you should fulfill the great commission in your life okay sharing the great commission that's share the gospel that is the church need to be the church need to be one body united in one family as one family and carry the great commission every activity in in, in, in church, in our local church, we should link to Great Commission. Okay. Okay, now we have uh, maybe I will give you five minutes to. You have a blank paper, a white paper. Blank paper. Okay. I, I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Brother Joe, can you help me to? Có một chỗ. Yeah. See nó có một đồ đơn ra này. Đồ đồ đơn ra có giấy in lên đây. À in lên. Có một đồ đơn ra này. Đồ cắt sầu là in lên đây. Okay. I will give you. 
uh, a black pepper and then uh, uh, now is a uh, is a very important time for your uh, your your yourself your personal to God because if you will be witness of God your personally you must be strong to believe in yourself that you got saved or not you have salvation or not you are clean or not so if you think you still have something struggle in your life is not good something you thinking you think is not good is not right thing is not right thinking your heart still trouble so you repent to God okay we just repent the thing we 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 uh, are not obey to God but your spirit God said already have salvation already when you receive Jesus you say your spirit said but uh, your body still commit sin so you need to repent if you want to follow Jesus you want to be a witness for Jesus Christ you must be confess your sin your body sin so now is this time for you I give you five minutes to write down something you you think in your body you still you could still commit in sin sometimes you uh, your uh, conversation to your friend is not good your yeah or uh, anything you do in your life you're thinking your heart thinking uh, uh, something is bad is not that uh, is not like uh, the uh, God want you to do so uh, you can write that uh, write down now okay I give you five minutes to write down write down something you feel that you don't like in your personally uh, so where do we write do we write, where do we write on these do we write on save like the things that we have been healed of and uh, uh, okay okay yeah thank you thank you so <laughs> yeah thank you so uh, this one you don't need to write this you don't need to write this one but uh, I strong to believe that you are you strong to believe that you you you, you have salvation already I will ask you first if you go to heaven but God asks you why I let you do you know why I let you go to my heaven what did you answer Because that is the big commitment uh -huh. in the Bible. Okay. What did you answer? God asked you, why? Do you know why I let you come to my my place? <laughs> come to heaven. What did you answer? Because we should understand clearly that we got saved or or not before we be witness for Christ okay what did you answer okay you you okay now you write out the answer if God asks you do you know why I let you enter to my heaven what do you what do you answer to God right now are you thinking okay I give you one minute thinking your answer okay before you write out the thing not good in your life Okay, so then, Tha Prajau Tan Rawa, Tha Rao Yap Pai Sawan, Prajau Tan Rawa, Tan Hu Bo Rub, Tan Rumai, Tamai, 
เราทําไมเราจึงอนุญาตให้ท่านเข้าไปในสวรรค์ไม่กล้าตอบยังไม่กล้าตอบก็ยังแสดงยังยังแสดงยังไม่รู้ว่าอะไรรอบหรือยังอันยังไม่รู้ความรอบใช่ไหมไม่ใช่เรารู้ว่ารอบแต่รอบคือแบบคือแบบยังยังยังไม่ในใจดีพอ,อได้คำถามนะโอเคเมื่อนี้อยากจะให้หนูมั่นใจว่าตอบรถตอบไปเลยว่าถ้าเรามั่นใจว่าเราได้พ้นแล้วตอบไปเลยโอเค I will uh, I will give you answer the right answer if God asks you why Do you know why I led you to my heaven? The correct answer, like this, because I believe your son Jesus. That's enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because Jesus said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one enter to heaven to see my Father without me." Amen. <laughs> so when you believe Jesus Christ. That the correct answer. Okay. Now you, you got this. <laughs> okay. So I strongly believe that everyone of us we believe Jesus Christ. But the right answer we should answer because when I ask the question to the local church, many thing many uh, they they answer to me because I uh, I go to I because I went to church every Sunday. Because I uh, read the Bible every morning, <laughs> because I I'm a good person, because I uh, a singer, uh, I sing, I pray worship service, a leader. I'm the leader of worship in the church. That is n- is not the right answer. Is the cor- not correct. The correct answer is because I believe your son Jesus. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Okay, assuring on s- or still still doubt. You have assuring, right? <laughs> okay, now write out the thing. Just body body sin, because spiritual sin. God forgive us already because we believe in Jesus Christ. Our spiritual forgive already. So things that have already been forgiven. Yeah, it's for the body sins. So something we do, something is not good in for body or uh, speaking or thinking. So all all the stuff currently that are still or prop like uh, yeah, problem and struggle, okay. struggle still. in our mind, our, our heart, our, our life. Okay, lie down. At least uh, three, three thing. Okay, three thing. เขียนลงไปสิ่งที่หนูคิดว่าหนูอยากเปลี่ยนแต่ว่าเปลี่ยนไม่ได้อยากให้ประชาเปลี่ยนแล้วก็หนูเขียนลงไปอยากเปลี่ยนชีวิตที่พูดจักพระเจ้าอยากฝึกฝนตนเองในใกล้สิทพระเจ้าอ่านพระคำหรืออธิษฐานทุกมื้อแต่ว่าหนูเปลี่ยนไม่ได้สิ่งนี้สิ่งที่หนูเป็นคนผิดของหนูอยู่แล้วก็เขียนลงไปพระเจ้าจะเปลี่ยนหรือว่าหนูยังเป็นคนใจให้กดกรดง่ายอย่า write down something you yeah you you think you 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 don't like it but uh, you cannot change so repent to God God will change 
helped you, God will help you to cover everything that you don't 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 like it. In. Okay, I strongly believe that you have done some. Okay, but if not, uh, or in your uh, in 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 your life uh, now, but uh, uh, for tonight, when you sit and go to sleep, you think and you repent, repent every day. Okay, mm -hmm. every day you repent for God every day. Okay, for body sin, we have to re repent every day, but spiritual sin. Just one time, repent, receive Jesus, done. Spiritual sin, spiritual, okay? But body sin, you have to repent every day. Okay, we read together for uh, the uh, uh, the verse of God, John, First John 1, 9. 1, 2, 3, together. Okay, we, we read together. 1, 2, 3, go. We confess our sin. Amen. So now, uh, uh, lead up your uh, paper. I see your paper. Okay. Okay. Ah, nyok jek kun, nyok jek kun. Sini dia kau kian lompai. You write or something? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now I would like you to, uh, like, a, I don't know, yeah, like it, a steer, yeah. everything, okay, is that, can, you can, yeah, do that, okay, okay, more, 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 okay, more, more, that thing you don't like it, right, you don't like it, okay, we confess to God, God forgives us to be the good person. Okay, uh, now it's time. I would like you to bow your head, bow down your head and you pray. You can uh, conversation with God now. Okay, we pray together. You can pray to, uh, you can pray by yourself. Okay, and confess everything to God. That's your right down. Okay, we pray, let's pray. Father, we thank you. So your word says that if we confess our sin to you, you are the faithful, are you just? You forgive us, Lord. You forgive our sins. So I strong to believe that you purify us from our unrighteousness. Everything we commit to you, Father God. Thank you for your love, your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, 10 minute break or 10 minute break and then we come back. Okay, okay you will keep and then throw the uh, rocket <laughs> to the bin. Okay. That's no more in your life. <laughs> no more in your life. God changed. <laughs>
juga betul tak dua ikan. Inci kan? Inci lah lah jual tak? Kan kan. Tapi inci orang jual tak pakat. Oh, tiap pol. Tiap pol aje aje. Tapi dua sen lah, Are you okay, Sister Lydia? Okay. okay. I forget that some one like this. I go to supermarket and uh, where I can. <laughs> I pray for you yeah. <laughs> to fight it. Because I will right. Ah, uh, okay.
In, in Vietnamese, uh, we also have this song, right? Vietnamese. Yes. I, uh, I heard, yeah. I heard. <laughs> uh, but uh, all we seem to know is come from uh, Korean, right? Korean. Yes, 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 right. Yes. <laughs> Original from Korean. Okay, so we continue, okay? So what, what time we we finish in at lunch time? Um, is it twelve or is it eleven? Oh yeah, no, right. No, it is twelve. 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 Okay, so maybe we will have uh, forty, forty, forty five minutes more, and then we break break again, take a break again, and we continue again, right? Okay. Okay. Continue. Before we continue, uh, I would like to uh, ask someone to. Uh, yeah, I will ask you what did what uh, what thing you take away from the beginning until this. You share something because uh, I'm afraid you forgot. <laughs> we learned a lot, so you forgot. Or you can you can share some uh, uh, something you you take away or you have to learn uh, yesterday as well. Just one thing you you got it. Okay. Uh, Walker, Kevin. Yes, what did you uh, learn from this morning or yesterday? Yeah, you can share one. Uh, yesterday, uh, we have learned about this. Mm -hmm. and first of all, we introduce, and we just have uh, about two minutes or uh, two minutes to share our testimony, mm -hmm. and then we we uh, direct to uh, direct to the Western mm -hmm. to Western, and we we share about gospel. After the gospel, we we uh, ask them uh, mm -hmm. if they want to receive. Okay. And if they want to commit, mm -hmm. and uh, for the book post of this is about <coughs> sharing mm -hmm. the gospel, okay. and to that they can receive Jesus as their mm -hmm. savior. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Carrot. No jam day or anything, huh? Vani, van, vani, right? Mu vani. เมื่อวานเมื่อวานเมื่อวานโอเคแต่ก็เช้าวันนี้เดี๋ยวด้วยนุเรียนได้อ่ะเมื่อวานก็อ่าเอ๊ะอย่างคือแบบอ่าในใน
change your name, Christian. Mm-hmm. Yes. If mm-hmm. you don't want to share to this podcast, that's not very Christian. So I will share and go. Amen, amen, praise God. <laughs> if you are Christian, you should share because for be fitness, right? Because we learn every Christian should be fitness. If you not be fitness, change your name. <laughs> change your name. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about uh, Joey? What? Um. Take away. I've heard of the term lay people. But I never really yeah, knew what people. that meant. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, uh, I think I uh, know and agree with most of this. Um, let's see. Very much so, the church should be focusing on the uh-huh. Great Commission. A lot of yeah, right, many right. churches they they kind of just like sit <laughs> uh-huh. and they don't tell their members uh-huh. to try to reach other people yeah, in right. their, especially in their neighborhood or their yes, families. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, very important. We should, uh, in in our church, we should focus about the Great Commission. That's very powerful. The Great Commission that Jesus has given us to follow. Yes, very. And also, we we uh, don't uh, don't for, 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 forget the the lay people. We equip them to be Venus, because every Christian must be Venus. For Christ, it's not pastor job. It's not leader church leader job. It's not your leader. But every lay people, every Christian, should be witness. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Get this act. No, get this act. Hiện tại nhà. Mưa sao nè? Mưa sao nè? Mưa sao nè? Mưa sao nè? Chạm lấy tụi đề đã cơ vào không? Ừ. Ừ. Ăn đi. À, lương thi hầu hiền đây, nên bục hiền tụi này. Và hầu hiền đây nhàng đề. Xin tí bắt thật chạy bó, xin tí hầu chưa. Ồ, tụi này nụn chạy khăn hoài. Nụn chạy khăn hoài lại. Nó là... Bọc xúc vào นั่นเค้าก็ขึ้นในใจการที่ห้องอ่านเค้าไปดูในในอยู่เทิงเค้าอ่านอ่านเค้าก็ทําเพียรที่ท้าเมื่อเจ้าอือไอ้ท้าเ
and to fulfill everything in, in our thinking, and even our speaking. So we should let the Holy Spirit control everything, okay, to guide us. Okay, we have, if you uh, got saved and clean spiritual field, and you must be what? Commit. Commit. Commit it. Commit yourself. Commit it to yourself. Okay. To follow what? Jesus. The Great Commission. <laughs> to follow the Great Commission that Jesus gave to you. Okay. Right? Commit ourselves to follow the Great Commission. To do for Jesus. To fight for Jesus. Okay. And when you commit it, what is that? You should be a person prayerful. At least, what? How many? How many? One hour. One hour. <laughs> At least one hour prayerful. Devotion with God. At least one hour. Okay? Prayer always undergrees new testimony, evangelism. So we uh, now I, I have a lot of friends around the world. We are gathering to be partner with uh, evangelism, as Christian. So the very strong point we focus for prayer. Prayer is a uh, 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 very power when you uh, do ministry. Okay. So. After prayer, you faithful in prayer. What's next? You should have a relational with God, a relationship with God. Relationship with God every day, every night, every moment, every thought, every thinking, your heart, your thinking, your mind, everything. You should have a relational with God. Okay, so the outline is take like a, a selectum, the gospel presentation, like a bomb, okay? And also uh, the scripture uh, are like the mus muscle, the muscle, the scripture. And the testimony, your testimony or uh, illustrations are like a skin and a personal uh, feature. That's uh, our testimony. So the last one is uh, the Holy Spirit, who is adverse through the gospel, is uh, like a, a breath. We breathe every day. Breathe, okay. When you go to share the gospel, don't be afraid because the Holy Spirit will guide you. We give you the word to speak. How to be? You don't know how to speak, but uh, the Holy Spirit will give you. Okay. We help you. Holy Spirit will help you to speak. To share when you go and share gospel, Holy Spirit will guide you, teach you, and encourage you, empowers you to speak to the prospect, to the people, and believer. So don't be afraid. Are you afraid to go? <laughs> don't be afraid. Courage to go. Courage to go. <laughs> okay. So the gospel. Actually, uh, uh, e e gospel track. We also have e gospel trust, but uh, in in uh, in our nation is not uh, uh, use useful because uh, uh, we cannot uh, we cannot give them the track, the book rack, the small book. We cannot do that in 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 our place. But in Thailand. No problem. <laughs> you you can give to them the booklet, the track. So we also have e e we also have uh, uh, the book, the small book like this. Uh, you see two questions, and uh, uh, do you know for sure? That's the a track we will give to the people. So our uh, e e gospel track is not like a. It's not to be used as crutch, 
in place or an oral presentation. Okay, right? So it means you uh, when you have the e e uh, uh, e e e uh, track or e e booklet or the small booklet like it, do you know for sure? Mm. If uh, the person uh, he really he or she really want to read, you you will give to them. But if then reject or they don't want this, don't don't uh, don't give to them. Mm. We keep it. Because uh, the verse of God is very, very important. Uh, don't throw anyway. Don't throw anyway. Yeah, keep it. So give to the person who really want to know. Really want to read it for them. Lord, give me a vision for even Jerusalem expression, or give me a vision to 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 be witness for you. So you will ask Lord a vision for your life. Give you a wisdom, knowledge, faith, courage, power to go and share your witness. Be, be witness to Christ, to share the gospel. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, this. Uh, this session I will end for here. So I will next to the. I will go to the uh, uh, next because we still have time. I will go to the next topic. Before I go to the next session, you any question? No. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, we continue. Venus, what's that? Ah, not yet. Not yet. Come, come on. Okay, Venus as Venus as a way of life. Venus, Venusing as a way to life. Every Christian should be must be witness of Christ. So please please remember that witnessing as the ways of your life until you pass away. <laughs> until you go to heaven <laughs> to meet Jesus Christ. Okay? Or another word until you die. You die your body dying. Okay? But you spiritual safe. Okay? So, are you ready to be Venus? The meaning of um, Venusing as a way of life, uh, like a, if you are you student, you still student, you like student, right? You will be Venus for Christ, uh, of Christ to your student, to your friends. If you work, you are working, you be Venus to your uh, at your work. Your farm, your company, your uh, business, any place. That's we call Venusing as a based on life. Anywhere you go, you must be Venus. Amen? Okay. So, uh, the importance of uh, Venusing as a based on life. Evangelism in the Evangelism in the NT New Testament New Testament NT did not occur as a result of some organization program. Do you understand this? It's not like a uh, because a New Testament for uh, Evangelism for New Testament that did not they did not go go uh, they did not uh, use a strategy like a organization this program this project for to share the gospel we made this project that program is not like that the New Testament they just go but as individual believers witness to people in their 
every lives. <laughs> that's ver that's very power. Because I asked many Christians when they uh, what did uh, uh, how do you know Jesus? How did you know Jesus? Why you believe Jesus? They say because my friends, because my relative, they they always say like that. So they they never say because uh, because uh, that's organization, because that's program, because that 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 is not like that now. They say because my friend shared the gospel to me. Because my brother shared the gospel to me. Because my relative, my cousin, okay, relational evangelism. The use of uh, uh, assisting relationship and developing new ones as a bridge over which we take the gospel. Relation very important. Relationship with other. Another word we call make friendship, right? Friendly. You are friendly to other. You make friend first. The way you met friend, that is uh, that is the uh, like a, you develop uh, like a bridge to cross to your friends. Your heart connect to your friend's heart, or your reality, your neighbor met friend first, and you can cross to the bridge to your uh, your friend, your neighbor, your reality, their heart, and then you share the gospel. When you are friendly, you are friend each other. You really know. You know each other. Understand each other. You are friendly. So you can share the gospel. It means you cross the bridge to share the gospel. Easily. Easily. Okay. No problem. Friends, friends, there is a friends. So uh, you, where you are prospect, where where you are uh, like a, when we learn about how uh, how to evangelize, so you should think your prospect, and to share. Because. Venus is as a ways of your life. After you finish here, you say ah. I just go for tonight for uh, uh, to share gospel because uh, our teacher because uh, teacher said that we should go out tonight after tonight stop stop never never share the gospel never be witness to other it's not like that should witness as a way of life in your life so you you have to thinking about your prospect. You understand prospect? Prospect? Prospect is unbeliever. Yeah, unbeliever. The people are not Christian. We call it prospect. Okay. The people you go into talk with to share the gospel, okay? So you thinking your prospect to share the gospel. The first what's that? Jerusalem. Your family. And reality? Your reality? And your friends. And what else? Associate. Your association, organization, or if you're working, you are working, your uh, company, something like that. Even business group, something like that. So you trade for them. Yeah, co worker. And also, stranger. You should pray for stranger, the people stranger. who don't know a stranger, not stranger, strangers. Thank you, Josie, for correct me. 
Stranger. Strangers, people. Like a. Like a. The, the people who never faced before. You don't know before. Other, other、uh, nation, other tribes. So you can pray for them and share the gospel. But remember, before you share the gospel to the strangers, you must be what? Relational first, friendship first, make friends first. Okay. And finally, to the end of the verb, the verb. Right. If you do that, if you do like this, you start like this. That's you. That's me. You follow the Great Commission. That's just a gift to you. That's you follow Jesus vision.、Mm. What Jesus vision? Vision. Matthew. Matthew, twenty four, fourteen. Matthew twenty four fourteen. So in my uh uh so when when I talk about Matthew twenty four fourteen, I remember that one time uh uh so uh two thousand nineteen when I prepare my、uh, document to uh uh to interview my visa to U S U S A. So uh that time I I just put my uh I fill my form. My DS a hundred sixty form, so I just put I'm a pastor in the church and evangelism, I'm in tourism. Uh, uh, no, I say I'm uh what's that even evangelist, pastor evangelist. So when I I arrived the uh, uh embassy, your embassy in in Laos, so、uh, they asked me interview formal interview. For me to visa interview, so、uh, they asked me, "What do you do? What did you do?" I said, "I my answer. I'm pastor evangelist." So he look at me, smiley. <laughs> so he asked another question. Can you show me Matthew twenty four fourteen? What? Can you show me? So I I say okay. So I just uh. uh When the gospel be preached to our to our other world and be witness to all nations, that the end will come. So she she look at me and smiling. Okay. Wednesday, you come and get your visa. That's very shocked to me. Shock shocked me. Yeah. So I I surprised. Very surprised to me. I have. I almost cry because uh uh uh. I feel like、uh, God know everything, because、uh, God prepare everything for me. So that I realize that when we go to heaven, God will ask me something like、uh, we go for、uh, a visa interview. God will ask you, are you Christian? <laughs> are you Christian? Do you know why I let you go to my heaven? <laughs> God will ask you. God will give you some scripture. You show. You can show to God. If you say you are Christian, can you sing a song? One song. <laughs> Please prepare a song in your mind and the verse of God in your mind. Read this every day. <laughs> and remember. Okay. Who know? Who know? One day God will ask you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. So the caution. We'll be careful. The caution. The longer you are a Christian, the fewer opportunity you will have to be involved. With unbelievers, the longer you are a Christian, the fewer opportunity you will have to be involved with unbelievers. 
Be careful, brothers and sisters. Be careful. Very, very danger when you carry the name Christian. <laughs> if you still carry the name Christian, you say that you are Christian, you should be friend for unbeliever. Right? Because I don't know this happened to all churches in other nations or not. But in in my country, especially in my tribes, the church leader, church pastor, they always say, the young people. They not allow the young people to connect with the unbeliever, actually the young unbeliever. So that's problem. But Jesus say. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus wants every people, every uh, person that Jesus had great on earth back to heaven. Why? Why we stop the young people to connect with the unbeliever? Why we stop our people, our church member, to connect with the unbeliever? So be careful. Long, if you long, you say, ah, I'm Christian for 30 years. I'm Christian for 20 years, 10 years. But you have no opportunity to make friends with unbeliever. You have no choice to share the gospel. So change your name. <laughs> if that you do that, then change your name. You are not Christian. A Christian. Must be, must make friends with unbeliever. But the purpose is not you follow their belief, it's not you follow their doing. The purpose, the main word, you want them to be safe. Right? <coughs> to share the gospel with them. Okay? You got it? You got my point? So far, so good? <laughs> or I speak slowly? Or far, sir? Or far? Or? You understand my English? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you don't understand, ask uh, uh, Brother uh, Joey. Brother Joey here is good in English. <laughs> Okay, next. A question of uh, a question of financing situation. So they were developed and uh, alertness uh, for the uh, Christians that land themselves to introduce the gospel into the conversation. Okay. There is a, 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 a alertness uh, will allow you to find some types of spreading ball into the gospel presentation. So it means this this point. It means uh, we 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 can use every opportunity to 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 link to the gospel. For like uh, when when you visit your friend's house. And you you see some picture on the wall, and you ask them and start conversation. When you start conversation and see, you use use the light like this, and you ask your your friends and start conversation. Ah, where did you buy you bought this? Uh, this is oh, very beautiful, very beautiful. So you who made it? You know who made it? So you link to to the verse God. On this earth, also have uh, someone to cre create this earth, this earth, or this one, or that one, one, and you link to God's word. After that, share gospel. Okay, so we are the witness for God. We should be wise, wise, smart. Okay, you take everything to be opportunity to share the gospel. 
any situation turn to gospel. Okay, turn to be gospel. Okay, so the developing developing as a way of life, uh, this effort to involve in very important thing, pray, prayer. Prayer very important. And the second, prepare nest. You are the person who prepare everything well. You should prepare yourself well before you be nest to others. You should repent everything, your body sing and discipline yourself, discipline your prayer, every morning devotion, and you pray a lot and everything you imitate to God, cross to God, day by day, night by night, stick, transform to the cross, cross to the Lord Jesus Christ, and prepare yourself everything before you go out. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, so, finally, evangelism is a three-way conversation. It's a three-way conversation. So, when you know thee, you don't be afraid. No, I'm afraid, brother and sister Christ. Don't be afraid when you know this. Evangelism is a three-way conversation between a witness the second prospect prospect and the last one you know who else god or the holy spirit right holy spirit helped you and when you share the gospel to the prospect the unbeliever don't be afraid. E even they reject you. Even you share the gospel finish, they reject, they not re uh, receive, not respond. Don't be discouraged. Keep for move forward. Because that is not your work. It's not your job. Who? That's the Holy Spirit. That's person you share the gospel. You just share the gospel to them. But Holy Spirit will move in their heart, their life, and they will turn to repent to God. That Holy Spirit job is now job. Okay? Any question? Any question? We can't have my. My God, my me. We can't have more. For me? <laughs> okay, 10 minute break. Oh, okay, I will give you more break. Maybe uh, we can 11. Uh, 11. 11. Come again. Yeah. Okay, break time. Huh? Because you will take a long journey. <laughs> long journey for this training. <laughs> this time. Three months. Three months. So. Prospect mong tap ma, tap ma out. Prospect mong tap ma, tap ma out. 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 Tap ma
sama dengan orang lebih keren Keren no? Keren yang keren gila
Ukraine. show this.
Okay, now uh, we continue. I will use this this page. Mm. You have this is uh, very good with you. Yes. Okay, now it's time to learn the gospel presentation. Five point. We call the hand outline of the gospel. The first one, okay. I will see your hand. Five finger, right? Anyone who have six? <laughs> That's a blessing. <laughs> My younger uh, bro, younger brother, uh, he has a uh, six oh, finger. Six. Yeah, six finger. <laughs> Okay, so five. So let's uh, say together: Grace, Grace, Man, Man, God, God, Christ, Christ, Faith, Faith. Okay, Grace. Together: One, two, three. Grace, Man, God, Christ, Faith. Okay, so now. Uh, cross your paper. <laughs> cross your paper first, okay? Mm -hmm. I, will, I will try to. Uh, you remember or not? Your paper? Up down? Okay. Uh, okay, Kevin, you go first. See here? You see here? Quiz, mm -hmm. man, uh, God, and. Gospel and faith. Uh -huh. Christ, gospel and Christ. Christ. Okay, Christ, Christ faith. faith. Okay. Carol. ได้อยู่อ่ะได้อยู่อ่ะบ่ได้ต่อนะพระคุณของพระเจ้าวันนู้นวันหมดพระเจ้าพระเจ้าพระเยซูพระเยซูพระเยซูพระเยซูพระเ
Okay, you done? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, we will go for, uh, we will go together, practice together, okay? Because uh, this is the, the point we, when we go out, we will use the five points for uh, present gospel, okay? Uh, the part of pre, uh, in introduction. So, because uh, we not have not enough time to study the part, so I am not teach the part. We just use for uh, the gospel part and for present uh, the gospel. Okay, so now we practice. Grace, we go for grace first. Grace, grace, grace. Heaven is free gift. Heaven is a is not our dessert. It's not our dessert. Okay. Grace. Grace. Heaven is. Heaven is. Free gift. Free gift. Okay. And is not. Our dessert. Okay. So the transition, transition, you will see why isn't heaven or or dessert. Because of what the Bible say about man, okay, that is the transition, okay. Mm. So we we'll say because the Bible teach about man, man is sinner. He cannot save himself. Why the transition? The transition say why can we save ourselves? Because of the Bible say about God. God is mercy, merciful, and there's a want to punish us. But God is just and must punish our sin. This present a, a, a problem, but God 
serve this brother in the person of Jesus Christ. Who is Christ? Christ is both God and man. He died on the cross and rose from the dead to pay of our for sin of our sins and purchase a place in heaven for us. Mm. Finally, the question: uh, no. This gift is received through through faith. What is faith? Faith is not just head knowledge, nor is nor is it just temporary faith. True saving faith is trusting in Jesus Christ alone for our internal life. Does this message to you? No. <laughs> Does this message to you? Okay. This is the last question you ask. When you share the gospel finish, you have to end this question. To ask this question. If they say, yes, it's a message. Is it is it good? Is it yeah, very nice? So you say, would you like to receive? Internal life? Free gift for you. Heaven is free gift. That's free gift for internal life, right? Okay. So here we we, uh, we wish to go. Heaven is free gift. It's not an undeserved. Actually, if you look here, uh, the standard it is standard online here. You will see. You will see uh, the uh, Bible Bible verse and also the uh, story story. Friend keep or sorry the book record record book of sin mm -hmm. and when you see the whole presentation. So now uh, I will show you the presentation but I don't know the speaker uh, I, I will use speaker here. And you will you will follow, you will follow, you will see the presentation again. But we, we just use the part uh, in our life, the, uh, the, the gospel part, okay? Okay, I will show you again. So after that, let you practice. Okay, let me go first. I don't know. Is Okay, so why are we uh, ready for the internet camera? So we practice again by by hand. Okay, one more. Heaven's free gift. Heaven free spirit. When when we share the gospel, we we uh, we uh, do we use like this? Grace is in heaven. Um, heaven is free gift. We don't use like this. We just, we just, uh, <laughs> we just uh, remember our heart, our sign, and uh, our hand or figure represent each each part of your speak. That's enough. But don't, no, no need to do. Grace, heaven is free gift. 
the 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 no 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 do like this. Just a uh, flexible, yeah. Be uh free uh easily uh conversation. General, yeah. Do, do general, like uh uh we just you uh do you know uh heaven is free gift. Heaven is free gift. The grace of God you want. It be called internal life. God give us free gift. That's free. But you know why we cannot receive? Free, but we cannot. Because the Bible show us man is sinner. We just uh do something like this. Man is sinner. He cannot save himself. We cannot save ourselves. Because we are sinner. We sinner. Okay? We cannot save ourselves. Do you know what? Why we cannot save ourselves? The Bible teaches us about God. God is merciful. He doesn't want to punish us, our sin. But because it is said, uh, but because God also just, just, He must punish our sin. Our sin. Okay. This is uh, the problem around the world. We cannot, we cannot solve this problem. Nobody solve this problem. But God solve this problem through His only Son, through that person of Jesus, through the person of Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Jesus is both God and man. God and man. He died on the cross to pay. To, he rose from the dead to pay our sins and portray the place in heaven for us. We receive this gift, this free gift, by what? Grace. Faith. <laughs> we receive this free gift, internal life. We receive easy by faith. What's faith? Faith is is not hate knowledge. Is not temporary faith, but trust and say, trusting in Jesus Christ Lord, who give us salvation. That's the real faith. There is message to you. There is good for you. This is great for you. Are you understand? This is good. You can, you we can end by this question. Ask the prospect, okay? When you share the gospel. So here I I just want to uh, briefly outline about uh, the part of presentation. Uh, okay, we we'll find. So I don't know, uh, Joey, why why my uh, computer uh, didn't show today? One second. Um, yeah, is it yeah. on actually a actually oh, no, show the it should be on a different window ah okay you, you know to do that I think that <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, um, but when I use po a power PowerPoint PTT oh. can do this yeah um I think yeah your nope, PTT nope. can uh, can I, why can I not move this? Well, that's very strange. Maybe this way. No, it does not work. Um, I think I have a Doesn't move. All right. Yeah, it's so, okay. I no, no, no. I can. Uh, let me just switch the. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. So suggestion right. settings. Oh, this one. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Okay, that's not it. All right. Uh, let me just go to display. Should work here. 
right? Praise God, don't prepare everything. <laughs> okay, so uh uh is the classic gospel e I will move for the part. in the beginning was the word. Okay. And fell into truly like hope. Uh-huh, we will see. Yeah, yeah, sure. But heaven is it's a totally free gift. Uh-huh. Opened it, you said, Well here no one can boast. So heaven is a free gift, and it can't be earned or deserved. Just like um, we give gifts to each other. It's mm -hmm. like we were best friends, and, and I brought you a gift on your birthday. Okay, so the, the, the part of the really gospel, liked. right? It was kind of expensive. So <laughs> when you opened it, you said, well, it's a free gift. Can I share, share that with you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, the first thing is that... Mm -hmm. Now we got grace. Man, God, Christ, faith. Okay, so last it washes, and that because of God's grace, heaven is a free gift. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So heaven is a totally free gift, and because it's a free gift, it can't be earned or deserved. The Bible also says it is by grace we have been saved through faith. And this, not from ourselves, is a gift of God, so that no one can boast. So heaven is a free gift, and it can't be earned or deserved. Just like um, we give gifts to each other. It's mm -hmm. like we were best friends, and, and I brought you a gift on your birthday. It was a purse that I knew that you really liked, but it was kind of expensive. So <laughs> when you opened it, you said, well, here, let me help pay for that. That's too much money you've spent. And if I took your money to help pay for it, what would that purse no longer be? It won't be a gift. It wouldn't no. be a gift. And, and it would hurt my feelings too, wouldn't it? Because yes. <laughs> yeah. I was excited about that. But, but heaven is, it's a totally free gift that we receive freely. And um, this comes in, th we can see this more clearly when we look at what the Bible says about man. Heather, would you share a little bit about what the Bible says about man? Sure. The Bible says for us so that man is a sinner. For all sin and fall short of the glory of God. So that's everybody. It doesn't leave anyone out. And when you think about sin, what comes to your mind? I don't know about maybe drop a bag or something. Like yeah, that. the really big stuff. Mm -hmm. But when we look at what the Bible says sin is, it says clearly that it's anything that's not pleasing to God or is a transgression against His law. And the things that we actually do are sins of commission, but there are also things that we don't do, that we fail to do, that we know we should do, and those are sins of omission, mm -hmm. like failing to pray or to, failing to truly love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. So, and we also sin in word and thought. So that's that would include like lying, hatred, greed, lust, all those things. So when we think about sin, and it's in what the Bible says that it is, it covers a big scope of things. So now that you understand what the Bible says sin is, how many times a day would you think the average person sins? Well, if you just have also thoughts, I think a lot. <laughs> yeah. So let's just for illustration's sake, say that I'm practically a walking angel and I just sin three times a day. But over the span of a year, that's over a thousand transgressions. And if I live to be 70 years old, that's over 70,000 transgressions. And I can't imagine taking 70,000 citations before any judge. Can you? No. <laughs> he would put us in jail. <laughs> so that's how it would be if we tried to earn our way into heaven. We can't save ourselves. Man cannot save themselves. Well, actually the Bible says one way. Be then perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. And we know that all sin and fall short, so we can't. We can't meet that. God's, God's standard is perfection, complete obedience in all things, at all times. And I, I don't know about you, but that leaves me out. Yeah. And it would be no different than if I invited you over for 
brunch and offered to make an omelet. And I took five eggs and four of those eggs were good. And I cracked the fifth one into the bowl and it's rotten. But I think because I've got four eggs that are good, that I can leave the rotten one in there. And that's where our life is. If we try and put it up before God, and this comes into sharper focus when we understand what the Bible says about God. Wayman, would you like to share with Vanessa? I'll be glad to. You know, um, I've got good news. The good news is that God is a God of love. The Bible says God is love, and He doesn't want to punish us. As a matter of fact, He wants us all to go to heaven. But the bad news is that God's a God of justice, and He has to punish sin. The Bible says God will by no means clear the guilty. That means I've got a problem. On one hand, I want to go to heaven. But on the other hand, I've done many things wrong and I'm a sinner and I'm going to go to hell. But you know, God solved that problem in the most wonderful way. Cindy, would you mind telling her about how she, he solved that problem? Well, Vanessa, he solved that problem in the person of Jesus Christ. And so let's talk about him. And who, from your experience, maybe in church or Sunday school, or who do you say that Jesus is? Well, he's the Son of God. Son of God, that's mm -hmm. right. That's, that's true. He is the Son of God. He's also, we can turn around, he's God the Son. He is fully God and fully man, the infinite God-man. And um, there's a beautiful verse in the book of John that talks about how he was God and with God from the beginning. And in this verse, uh, it calls Jesus the Word. So when I say the Word, you'll know that I'm talking about Jesus. And it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became a man and came to dwell among us. And we saw His glory, the glory of the one and only, sent from the Father, full of grace and truth. So Jesus was, is fully man when He came, and also fully God. And so if He was God, He was in heaven, right, we think. And so why would He come to the earth? Uh, you know, it's, it's a question for me. Why would yeah. He do that? But He came... For us, he came for that one reason, for us. He came and he died on the cross and rose from the dead to pay the penalty for yours and my sin and to purchase a place in heaven for us. And that's why he came. So if you remember, I said that when the last thing that Jesus said when he was on the cross was, it is finished. And um, I always thought, if you're like me, maybe I always thought that that just meant that he had died. Mm -hmm. But actually I have learned that um, he used a Greek term when he said that. The term is tetelestai. And what it means is, it's a term of commerce, and it means the debt has been paid in full. So he was saying, not his debt, because he didn't owe one, but that our sins he had covered by paying the debt for us on the cross. And that's important because, you know, the Bible tells us that a record is being kept of all of our lives. And um, so let's let this little book represent my record, the record of my life, and say the front page is my birth certificate and the back page is my death certificate and everything I've said or done, the good, the bad, and the ugly is, is in here. And this hand can represent me. And so here's that record of my sin. And here is God, and you can see that that stands between us. Mm -hmm. But there's a, a verse in the Old Testament that says, um, it calls us sheep, and it, it describes what Jesus did for us. It says, We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So Jesus took that sin away when he died on the cross, and you can see now that there is no, nothing between God and I, so we are able to have a relationship after, after what Jesus did for us. And so he, because of what he did, he can offer us the gift of eternal life, through faith. And um, Wayman, would you like to talk a little bit about faith? Yeah, I'll be glad to. You know, uh, this gift is received by faith, by saving faith. Uh, let me tell you what saving faith is. Before I do, let me tell you what it isn't, because people get confused in this matter. Uh, saving faith is not uh, intellectual faith. That means believing in God and believing in Jesus in your head. Um, just like I believe in a historical figure. I believe in Abraham Lincoln, but I'm not trusting him for anything. I believe in George Washington. I believe in a lot of historical figures, but I'm not trusting them for anything. Now, you believe in God, don't you, Vanessa? Um, matter of fact, I probably if I went to every home in the neighborhood and asked them, do you believe in God? Everybody said, yeah, I believe in God of some sort. 
Uh, matter of fact, the Bible says that you believe in God, you do it well. Even the devil, the demons, believe and they tremble. So just to believe in God uh, in your mind is to have the faith of a devil. And they're not going to heaven. So uh, you would have intellectual faith, but that doesn't get you to heaven. Another faith that's not saving faith is uh, temporary faith. Temporary faith is when you trust God to help you with problems you have. Uh, whenever we have a problem, we pray. Uh, when, we, when I get in the car to take a long trip, I pray for traveling faith, God help me. Uh, when I have uh, financial problems, I'll pray, God help me uh, with my finances. That's called financial prayer. And I know you have two beautiful children, and whenever they get sick, I'm sure you pray for them. And everybody prays when they have problems. But when the problems are over with, they stop praying. Temporary faith. You can pray all you want to, and that doesn't mean you're going to heaven. What saving faith is, Vanessa, is trusting in Christ, in Christ alone, for eternal life. You know, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved in your house. It's kind of like this chair. Can I move this chair? Yes, yes sir. Let's take this chair, for example, and let's use this chair uh, to be the Jesus chair. Now, this, this part of this couch, let's say, is the Wayman chair. And I'm trusting in this couch to hold me up, this part of the couch. And, but I'm not trusting this chair. And I'm trusting myself. You know, many years ago, when someone asked me the second question that they asked you, uh, what would you say to God? I'd say, well, I'm, I'm a good person. I'm not a bad person. I'll get to heaven because I do a lot of good things. I was trusting myself. And I wasn't trusting Christ. But when the time came in my life that I realized that I can't get to heaven by myself, I transferred my trust to Christ, just like this chair. Now, I believed in God back then, just like you believe in God now. And I believed uh, that God would help me with my problems, just like I believe God would help me with this, this chair would hold up my keys, or this chair would hold up this book. And I believe this existed uh, and you believe this chair exists, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, this chair isn't holding me up. Uh, why isn't it holding me up, Vanessa? Because you are not on it. I'm not sitting on it. So the only way I know for certain that that chair will hold me up is I have to transfer my trust just like this. And uh, many years ago, that's what I did. I transferred my trust to Christ. Um, does that make sense to you? Yes, sir. You know, uh, someone said that salvation is like the hand of a beggar reaching out to receive the gift from a king. And many years ago, I was that beggar and I received my gift. I didn't deserve it then and I don't deserve it now, but thank God I have it. Then the question that I've got to ask you is this, would you like to receive your gift of eternal life? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, Cindy, would you mind uh, explaining that to her, please? Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Here, grace when God Christ faith. Okay, so you know how to go through go through this these five points. Mm -hmm. It's not easy because uh, just one time the maybe the first time for you to learn to got to know and you had to practice at least hundred times. <laughs> go out and share, come back. Ah, I forgot this one. Go out again, come back. Ah, I forgot this one. Because they use, we, we see they, they will use a uh, story, but uh, because uh, we have not enough time, that's why I, I don't teach you about story. And the book record, you see the book record? And represent Jesus, the book record of sin. Like uh, the woman uh, represent about the book record, the sin, okay? But, uh, uh, we 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 don't uh, use uh, uh, don't uh, uh, we know yet learn about that and also also the Bible verse. But you can go back and practice by yourself and open the Bible and read uh, the verse of God. And when you say, but when you present the gospel, you don't say, uh, uh, Bible did 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 this because of the prospect the unbeliever then not yet they don't understand the the Bible. You just you just say the meaning. Say the meaning. Okay. You say the Bible teaches us there uh, the sin. 
like this. So don't don't uh, uh, don't say like this. John three or Matthew one twenty one. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't don't say it like this because they don't understand. You you have you must be born again. They don't know. So we we just use uh, the um, like uh, the simple word mm, when we communicate with unbeliever. Okay. So okay, maybe I think we any question after after lunch after lunch I will uh, maybe I will give you two two and brother Drew will uh, go with uh, uh, get this uh, and you practice practice what, one that? be suppose one be a prospect one be Venus if you you will be Venus and. Uh, uh, Joey, yeah, Joey will be a uh, prospect first, yes. and then after turn, tech turn. So okay. when we start at two p.m. right? Yeah, two p.m. Yeah. Two p.m. and we practice, and after that, uh, I will show you a little bit how 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 can we go out, um, everything, the situation like this. I will show a little bit about this, and then we go out. Okay. Exciting. <laughs> oh, afraid? <laughs> no afraid. Don't need to be afraid. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. So now it's time for uh, raise uh, for lunch and we prepare lunch and I keep the uh, okay. So lunch time free free for you. <laughs> Any question? No question. No. No question. Understood. Understood. <laughs> Good student. <laughs> Good student. Okay. Uh, I would like to maybe get this up. You pray for us. I did have to pray for us. Okay. 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 การที่จะเพื่อประกาศหรือการที่จะนุ้นใจไว้คนที่เสื่อมให้ให้พระเยซูคริสต์นะแต่ขอบคุณพระเจ้าขอเจ้าทรงอวยพรให้อาจารย์